Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing our how to speed up and save battery life on the OnePlus 6. Now these are several different features and every year it changes on certain ones. So this will help you maximize and maintain battery life. So first and foremost is the settings portion. So first we're gonna to wanna to unlock developer options and you do that by going to about phone and you hit build number repeatedly. It's about seven times. And once you have it, you then get developer options. From here, we're going to swipe down till we get to the drawing category right here. And then we're going to change three things from 1X animation to 0.5. This basically tells your phone, hey, I know it takes you a second to do everything, but you can actually do it in half a second. And this will definitely speed up uh, your processes. Also, if you uh, want to ever change your Bluetooth ability, this is where you would do it as well, which is Bluetooth audio codec. So you can actually change which uh, Bluetooth ability you have depending on your headphones. All right, now the next part is going to be under lo location. So first we're going to go to location right here, and then we're gonna hit these little three dots, and then we're gonna hit scanning, and then you're gonna turn off Bluetooth scanning. This is, is not really necessary for location, and it really always keeps Bluetooth on, even if you have Bluetooth off, which will drain your battery. Now you might have noticed uh, my background design is a bit different and that's because the first thing you want to do is go to display and make sure your theme is dark. Why? Well, this is an OLED display, which means the less colors you use and the more black there is, the better your battery life is. So change your theme to dark. This will help you out a lot. Uh, so definitely recommend that. It's also one of the reasons why the ambient display doesn't drain your battery life as much um, if this wasn't one or another phone that has an LCD instead. So one of our other selections is going to be uh, the notch. If you hide the notch, this top part is always black which again allows you to save battery life because you're not using about probably 5% or so of your screen, which again will allow it to always be there. Same thing why you don't wanna necessarily hide the bottom part of your phone as well. So um, you don't want to completely hide that under um, fixed. You want to either have it fixed or hide, but the gestures one does expand your screen, but it also makes it so that this will basically be used up instead of, again, saving you battery life. And with the notch and that, that's about 10% of your battery life that you're now saving uh, in terms of screen usage because they're always black. So a lot better for that purpose. Now, uh, one of the other things you also want to do is under battery you can turn battery optimizer. Now this is apps that are optimized in the background, meaning that they are not allowed to run for the most part. However, some apps will still be allowed to get notifications in, for instance. If you want to make it so that any app in the background does not run, period, well, then you can uh, switch it to advanced optimization. However, again, this will make it so you won't receive any notifications in the apps that are here. So basically there's two ways to go about this battery optimization. The first way is, you know, just to have it as it comes out of the box, which just, just optimize every app. This, however, will still allow you to get messages from an app like Allo or Facebook. Like it's not gonna completely make it stop in the background. The other way to do it is to not op do not optimize the majority of apps and then optimize the apps that you do not want to be used in the background at all once advanced optimization is turned on. This is the way I like to do it more so, but to each their own. Uh, this will save you more battery life in the long run because basically I only, only the apps that I would never want to be touched that can I want to allow in the background, say like Amazon. Amazon I might want to run in the background at times. That one I will not optimize, but all of these other apps will never run in the background. So this is a much better way in my opinion if you wanna maximize your battery life. 
Now, one of the other things in that aspect, maybe if that's too like extreme, well, I want to get my Facebook messages and you don't want to uh, hinder anything. Well, then you can do another way. Say when those times when you really need your phone to run at peak performance, you can go under advanced and then first of all, make sure always pocket mode is on. And then you can go under recent apps management. Now under recent apps management, you can actually do a deep clear. This means every time you clear everything and you go right here and you clear everything, nothing is running in the background now. Everything is uh, basically shut off and you have all of your RAM basically to use as well as your cache is wiped out. So, you know, again, you have to know what you're doing in that aspect, but if you want a deep clean that is available to you under advanced and recent app management. All right, guys, hopefully these uh, tips and tricks help you out and you will definitely notice that your OnePlus is much faster than it was before and it's just so much faster than one that comes right out of the box. All right, guys, thank you again, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.